Are you returning null collections? Well, you shouldn't, and here's why. If you are unlucky enough to code in a programming language that has nullable types, then you might be tempted to return null when a method that returns a collection, like an array or a list, has no data to return. A common example is when no data matched a query in the database and you need to return something back, so you choose null. That, however, is a pretty bad practice. Since collections are used to be iterated on in one way or another, potentially returning null means that the person consuming the code has to do a null check on top of the iteration everywhere that this code is used, leading to bloated code and the risk of a null check being missed, which will cause an exception. Even if you always add them, some person might miss them. The fix is pretty simple. Instead of returning null, simply return an empty collection of that type. That way there is no risk of an exception being thrown and you also get cleaner code for free by removing one extra condition which can lead to less nesting. Subscribe for more programming tips.